Hi everyone, my name is Hella Schulpe and I'm one of the current Quest board members. It's very nice that you're interested in becoming a program committee member for your program. This video is meant to give you some more information about what you can expect as a PC member. First, uh, PC Chairman Paul Buys will tell you a little bit about what the function of a PC member entails and what is discussed during the PC meetings. Next, Student Assessor Floor Buigel will tell you a little bit about her experience as a program committee member. Um, what the importance of program committees is within the faculty and also some information about the projects that we organize together with her. Finally, I will come back to you and tell a little bit about Quest's connection with program committees as well as what the recruitment procedure will look like. So we hope this video will give you some more information. Hi, my name is Paul Buys and I am the Chair of the Programme Committee for the Degree Programme Supply Chain Management and Technology and Operations Management. And as a Programme Committee we have a formal role in the educational quality system of our school by giving advice for instance on the teaching and exam regulations or any advice basically to quality uh, related issues of education. And our committee consists of an equal number of student members and staff members and we meet about four times per year. And in uh, preparation for those meetings, we receive a number of items from the school or from the, the management of the degree programs about quality related issues, such as uh, course evaluations or proposed changes to the teaching and exam regulations. So what we do during the meeting, we discuss basically our views on these documents and on any quality related aspects that go on in our school and we come with an advice either towards the, the management of the school or the management of the degree programs as to how to proceed. And uh, there's a small financial compensation uh, for the work that we do, both in preparation to the meeting and the meeting itself. What's interesting to me as a chair is to see the viewpoints, particularly of the student members, for, which are four student members in the case of our program committee, how they perceive the quality of our education, we discuss the documents, their viewpoints on the documents, but we also discuss uh, just their perception of our, uh, of our quality in general, which is very interesting. And uh, what students tell me is that they, in turn, find it very interesting to learn about what the staff is thinking about educational quality and all the things that we do in, in, in hopes of improving and maintaining the high quality of education that we have. So all in all, I think it's very worthwhile to be part of the program committee and, uh, and perhaps I see you in one of our previous, in, in one of our successive meetings. Hi everybody, my name is Floor Buigel. And this year I am the student assessor for the, our faculty board. Next to being a student assessor, I study a master's in international financial management. And I'm also a board member at the Groningen Student Union. Um, as an assessor, I advise the faculty board on a whole range of topics concerning students, uh, for example, education, exams, exchange, um, now also online education, how do we do this with uh, digital, uh, the digitalization of our education, uh, but also for our uh, study associations. As an assessor, I try to get a lot of input from our faculty uh, so I can paint the best picture I can uh, to the faculty board and show what the experiences are of our students. This information I get from several different bodies, um, but also from the program committees. I've been in a program committee myself a few years back. I did the program committee for two years of international business, and I find it very, uh, I found it very informative, um, and I had a, a great experience there. But what I really um, what I really learned in my program committee is how actually things are behind our education and also try to listen better to what students are experiencing in their education. This is also something that I hope that you will do next year as a student in a program committee, is to listen to what your fellow students uh, are experiencing and also tell this to the staff, to the program coordinator, uh, and also talk with different student bodies in our faculty. You will receive input from the year representatives in form of the reports of their meetings, but also try to interpret this with the course evaluations that you will also receive. And if you have this big topic that you're working on or that there's a big discussion, don't be afraid to ask me or go to the faculty council um, to ask for questions or see if there's a pattern in our faculty. These kind of 
things who are very important to to me also to for example the faculty board uh, to use to change our education and change the experiences of students in um, in our faculty especially now in times of corona i think it's very important that students are active uh, and are not afraid to to voice their opinion um, and also let it be known that if there are problems that uh, the faculty can work on it so for next year i want to wish you good luck and i hope you really like to be in a co-governance body uh, but also if you want to um, have more information about this go to quest or you can also go to me and if you're interested in doing more in co-governance uh, don't be afraid to email me um, i'm always happy to inform students about uh, these kind of things uh, next to that if you are in a bachelor program committee i would really like you to invite you uh, to come to our bachelor overlaps which are uh, meetings that i'm trying to organize this year with quest where we come together with multiple uh, program committees from the bachelors, uh, from the four bachelors that we have, and talk about certain uh, topics, um, the first one probably being Corona. So I hope you will be there and that we can have a great discussion about what you find of the education within our faculty, and that we exchange some knowledge about uh, the education. So for now, goodbye, and I hope to see you again. So I hope you already got some useful information from both Paul and Floor, and now I will tell you a little bit about what you can expect from Quest and how the recruitment procedure will look like. So Quest is responsible for recruiting almost all the program committee members within the FAP, and we do this three times a year, in September, in February and also in June. We conduct interviews with applicants in which we uh, try to assess if you are a suitable candidate to join the PC. These interviews will take about 20 minutes and then if we find you to be a suitable candidate, so if you have the right analytical skills, social skills and also affinity with quality of education, we will draw up a motivation letter which will be sent to the faculty council. The faculty council namely also has to officially approve you before you become a member of your program committee. When you are accepted, you will receive a message from your own program committee and then they will handle the official appointment. As Quest, our other involvement with program committees is during the Bachelor Forum and Master Forum meetings, as Floor already mentioned. This is a project we set up with her this academic year, so during 2020-2021. In the Bachelor Forum, we meet with PC members of our four Bachelor programs, as well as with some Faculty Council members. The goal of these meetings is to see if there are any patterns across the programs, or maybe an issue with online education, or other relevant issues that you think is important to discuss. We also do the same for the master programs in the master forum meetings. As a PC member, your participation is voluntary. However, your experiences hold valuable information for us. The minutes of these meetings go to, for example, the vice dean and other relevant people. We hope this video has given you a bit more information about what the function of a PC member entails. And if all of this sounds interesting to you, you would be a perfect candidate. If you want more information, for example, about how to apply, you can go to our website or send us an email to our email address. Floor is also available for questions through her own email address. And we hope to see you soon.